Iowa Workforce Development says the unemployment rate has dropped to 3.6 percent, significantly lower than the national average. Sounds good, right? But here's the challenge. Many manufacturing companies in the corridor say they still have hundreds of jobs open each year without the workers trained to fill them. CBS 2 News reporter Melanie Moore is live at one company right now trying to inspire people to go into manufacturing. Melanie. Scott and Karen, tonight at Kirkwood Community College, there are 15 booths relating to manufacturing. That's 15 opportunities to learn about things made right here in the corridor and how to be a part of it. Like, not like that? Well, like that. Betsy Borchard is a second year Kirkwood Community College student gearing up. It's my first time doing this. Okay. for a career in renewable energy. Aren't you supposed to hold the rope out to the side? And manufacturers hope the number of students like Borchard starts climbing. We work with a lot of manufacturers in the area, and one of the things that we hear from them a lot is how difficult it is to find skilled workforce. Kirkwood staff say when many people think of manufacturing, they think of what the industry looked like years ago. The United States is a country that was founded on making things. Roger Clota's company in Lynn County makes plastic injection molds for major brands like Polaris, Yamaha, and Honda. He says manufacturing is much cleaner and more high-tech than it used to be, and something that can be made into a career. And those of us who still make things have a lot of pride in that. MSI Mold Builders is one of 15 companies at Kirkwood's Advancing the Future Tour. They want people to realize that in order to continue to move forward and grow within our region, manufacturers play a key part of that. Manufacturers say they have to compete nationally for workers, but promote the industry and local programs to get help here. A lot of times people don't realize what skill of math, for example, is needed to run one of these machines. What sort of skills are necessary to do a, a nice weld? Come on. There you go. They hope programs like these help bring concerns over the lack of workers Woo! <laughs> down. <laughs> If you'd like to learn more about the list of companies here interested in meeting potential workers, we have those resources on our website, cbs2iowa.com. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Melanie Moore, CBS 2 News. Melanie, thank you. In total, there are close to 6,000 manufacturing employers in the state. It's a lucrative job, too. The average salary in Iowa is just over $51,000 a year.